On this Wellness Wednesday, let's welcome back Dr. J.P. Salibi, Medical Director of Carolina Holistic Medicine, who is here to share more on what essential nutraceuticals are and what we need to help fight COVID and all its variants. And, you know, I think a lot of skeptics out there, they say, hey, the only way to fight COVID is by getting a vaccination. But there are plenty of people out there who still have not gotten vaccinated based mm -hmm. on their own beliefs. So are there alternatives to protecting your health? Sure, so there's alternatives to what's being offered by the pharmaceutical industry with regards to nutraceuticals or supplements, dietary supplements. Um, and it's the acute phase of COVID. One can use high doses of vitamin C and vitamin D. We know that vitamin D is extremely important and that's how you can survive uh, the infection, mm. keep you out of the hospital. Also the zinc and selenium um, are key, and, uh, and something called quercetin. Comes from the extract of uh, citrus uh, skins, and that actually allows the zinc to go into the cell, and the zinc basically chops up the virus and won't let it replicate. Wow. So the combination of vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, and quercetin are the essential four. Now you can add others. Mm -hmm. um, so when somebody has long haulers, they need a little bit more TLC, yeah. you can add in things like NAC or N-acetylcysteine. You can add in things like andrographis, and there's a whole host of others. Are these ever <clears throat> a good idea to take as a preemptive to not getting it in the first place, or is this purely to treat it once you have it? Well, treat it once you have it, and then lower doses, you can use it as a preventive. I do because I'm in contact with a lot of patients, yeah. so I take my quercetin and zinc and my vitamin D and C. Um, along with some other uh, immune enhancing uh, agents. Okay, and I know that th some studies have shown, there's been uh, several studies that show that this has actually had very positive data as a result. Mm -hmm. So why do you think we're not hearing more about this? Because I think people are kind of fed, there's really just one way to mm -hmm. do something and they're not necessarily exposed. You know, everybody has the freedom to choose what they want to when it comes to their own health, right. but why is it that we're not hearing more about this? Well, mainstream medicine doesn't focus totally on supplements, dietary supplements. They're big into, you know, prescriptives, things like Paclovid and Remdesivir. So those, you know, carry a, a bigger voice in, in that community. But, um, you know, the nutraceuticals, if you talk to a naturopathic, a chiropractor, or a licensed acupuncturist, they'll tend to focus on more of the dietary supplements. Right, and, and that's exactly what a nutraceutical is, is right. a supplement. supplement. So would it be comprised of many different types of supplements in one capsule, or is it simply one thing? Because sure. when you go to the vitamin store, you sure. see bottles of individual things and then others right. that are combined. So it can be a daunting task to have all these different bottles, your C, your D, your fish oil, all your multivitamin. So we in our center have made it a little bit simpler for folks um, so they don't get carpal tunnel by opening all those jars, yeah, right? Yes. right? So <laughs> we've brought it, basically narrowed it down to two primary um, dietary supplements that you can get over the counter or through a physician's um, prescription. Uh -huh. uh, LRC, which has vitamin C and isocorsetin, so okay. you get those two. And then Andrographis Immune was put together by Euromedica uh, for this pandemic because it has selenium, which helps with the um, immune system. It has your zinc and it has a little melatonin and there are protocols that show melatonin is helpful in fighting COVID. And then the herb Andrographis. Oh, okay. Andrographis is an adaptogen and they'd use it in Thailand to uh, help combat uh, COVID. Yeah, I, from what I've researched is that a lot of these treatments, these holistic natural treatments have been used in East Asia since mm -hmm. COVID broke out and they have been kind of sworn by mm -hmm. that a lot of people really ascribe to that philosophy and seem to be doing quite well. Well, in, in a big case uh, is the um, northern state in India of Uttar Pradesh. They have basically annihilated the pandemic. There are very, very few cases. We're talking of one or two cases a day in a state that is comparable in uh, the number of people that is in the entire United States. 
So look up Uttar Pradesh, and they have they have done it using um, ivermectin, and they've done it with nutraceutical packs. Right. Right. I, I think I have heard this. Mm -hmm. Can you get nutraceuticals at any vitamin shop or? You natural? can. Yeah. Um, you know, the some of the grocery stores have it. Um, yeah. Vitamin shops, and uh, you know, those can carry them. They have a vi wide variety. Some are good. Some aren't. You know, we use a platform where we know that they've all been vetted out and they're high quality mm -hmm. that we offer to our patients. Okay. And where do people find out more information if they just kind of want to educate themselves? Yeah. Too? So, um, carolinaholisticmedicine.com, and we have a process on our Facebook page and our website that we can actually set up an account through some uh, platform called Fullscript, mm. which can drop ship to any patient in the U.S. and Canada. And as always, you want to check in with your primary care physician, make sure that you don't have certain allergies or things like that that could um, be detrimental when trying something new. As always, Dr. Salibi, thank you so much. All right, thank you for having me. We're back after this.